Y'all, it's time for our 2022 Jet Pins haul. This is video number two of our 2022 Planner Shenanigans playlist, which will be linked down below. So let's get right into it. Hey y'all, I'm Kate with Salty Katie. I run an online planner shop and make videos about planning, productivity, and organization. I'm so glad you joined me today. Okay y'all, so we've done our first video in our Planner Shenanigans playlist, which was our Hobonichi haul. That'll be linked up here and today it's time to do our jet pins haul because this is the time of year where we drag all the planner things in from all over the place to try to decide what we're going to use for 2022. So now it's time to see all the crap I got from jet pins that may or may not end up in my final 2022 planner lineup. So let's get right into it. Okay you guys let's see what we got here. Okay, so, um, great personal sacrifice. All I did <laughs> was open the packages and sort of unwrap all that huge amount of um, bubble wrap that Jet Pins puts on, which I appreciate because it makes sure that things like this ink make it here safely. So, last year I used the Canso Noto, which is a Tomoe River paper notebook produced by Jet Pens as a sidekick for the Jibung Techo Biz A5 Slim. So this is basically my same setup as last year. I'm just trying to decide if I want to use the same system again or if I want to switch over to the Jibun Techo. So our next video is going to be a comparison between the two. I do really love the Jibun Techo. If you've not used it before, give it a go I, seriously i prefer the biz version just because the colors are a little more muted Ooh. see it's nice and neutral there is a little blue a little sort of pinky um it does come with built-in habit trackers it looks like from december 2021 through january of 2023 then you move into your monthly layout and then into your weekly. I have a really enjoyed the weekly in this planner. Um, we'll go over that in more detail in the next video. I like the way it's laid out and set up. So yeah, mm, that'll be hard to give that up. Thank you, Ernie. Y'all, if Ernie shows up in the video, I'm sorry. He's just... <laughs> Today, he wants y'all to see him. So here is the Canso Noto, which I used last year and enjoyed quite a bit. It is Tomoe River paper with a, ah, 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 with a nice faint dot grid on it, um, which means it will handle fountain pens really nicely. Um, so what I ended up doing last year is just chopping this down to be the same size as the A5 Slim and then put the two together in a jelly cover, which worked really well. Uh, I do enjoy these notebooks, so I can absolutely uh, recommend them. Uh, Nick, Ernie, thank you. Please make as much noise as you can. <laughs> Just damn catch y'all. Uh, the next thing I do every year is replace my Deldy pouch. So they didn't have a lot of options for pink. And now that I see this color, ee, let's see. This must be a special edition because it's quite different. It has, let me bring it up really close. It has a very crepey fabric feel to it. Does that make sense where this is more, please ignore the coffee stain. Can you believe I did that? That was, this was my 2019 Deldy pouch and just, Oh yeah, Poop, coffee all over it. And there might be a little cat here, whatever, don't look too close. Um, these are much more canvassy. Um, and this is definitely much more, can y'all see that? Crepey. Hmm, I wonder if it's a special, yeah, I can't read that, it's all in Japanese. <laughs> so I don't know that I like this color down here, but I do like this color at the top. And I, Ew, the ugly tan on the inside. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, 
It does have some little small pockets on the inside. Can y'all see that? No. Can you see it now? A little bit. Uh, I don't end up using those. I just keep my color code and my main pen, um, my fountain pen, maybe a pencil in here, and then that's what I use for the whole year. So there's new Deldy pouch. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll get used to this color here. I'm not buying another one. Um, this is what I'll end up using. But I, I do really enjoy these. So the next thing is a new color code. Um, I prefer pastel colors. Last year I used, well last year, this year, I'm currently using uh, Tombow, what do you call those? the Tombow markers that everybody uses, sort of a pastel set. And so this year, I ordered this Pentel, Pentel Fit Line, eight colors it said. And I primarily ordered it for a couple of different reasons. One, they're all pastel, and two, there's a gray. Um, gray is sort of central to my color code. That is my uh, personal stuff. This will likely be work. This will end up being Instagram. I've forgotten what I use blue for. I'll have to look. Green will be YouTube. Yeah, um, I use that color code to sort of separate out by category what a task falls into. So hmm, maybe we should test these out right quick. Let's do it in the Hanso Noto so we can see the colors. So what do we say? Might as well. Let's go in the back here. This will be my. We'll use this for a pen test. Ooh, look at this tip. Huh, that's interesting. Is it dual tip? Yes. Okay, so we have a bullet tip and then I've done forgotten what you call that tip now. So, oh, 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 I don't know y'all. That's the, oh, mm -mm. I might have to, oh, no, no. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I thought I was really gonna love these, y'all. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, and I'm making all the hmm noises because I feel like it's, they are quite a bit darker than I expected looking at them. Whoa, look at that one. Yeah, hmm, mm, 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 mm. They, these look pastel on the outside. They do not, um, oh, I'm glad I tested them for y'all. So be aware. See, now that's pastel. To me, that's pastel. And then another reason why I wanted to replace, oh, mm -mm. okay. So I may have to relook at my color code, y'all. These colors are either brighter or darker than what I'm actually wanting hmm so I hope y'all can see those colors well so like to me this color that's on here this is not the same as the pink that it this is much lighter to me in my head than that is hmm, hmm, huh. okay I may have to rethink that I don't know yeah I don't know if I'm gonna use those or not at all which is a shame dang okay a little look at pens right quick so um these are my very favorite gel pens these are the zebra sarasa clip in a 0 0.5 i would I, every year i order replacements because i use them all year long this time though they we're out of the 1.0 tip, which is another one. I always buy the 0.5s and the 1.0, but they happen to be out by the time I play. Of course they were. Um, so I love these. Cannot recommend these enough. Uh, they're all over my house. Really, really enjoy these. Let me show you what they write like. There's that nice dark black, which I really like. I, I don't use these in my planner. I use these in everything else because 
what I typically do use in my planner is a high tech C Coletto multi pen. I use a five component. You can see the five there on there. And then typically I fill it with these really pretty little pastel colors and black. And then I always run out of the black and don't run out of the pastel colors because I don't use them all that often. Um, I really, really enjoy these. I buy everything in a 0.4 because it makes sense to me for the size of the blocks that are in. Like to me, a 0.4 just fits really well here. Does that, am I making any sense? It's a thinner line than a 0.5, but it's not scratchy like a 0.3, if that makes sense. So this will likely be my pen setup. The only criticism I have for Japanese um, stationery makers is this. I want more colors. There are only so many colors available of this high tech C Coletto multi-pen body. Um, I've used, there's a pink with polka dots, a pink pearl, here's one right here, here's a, I think that might be called a pink pearl. Um, I actually used another clear one last year because I had run out of colors. There's like a creamy looking pearl, two different pinks, and then some uglier, darker colors. I wish they would come out with more color options for you, is what I'm trying to say. And then also like the Jibun Techo, they offer little post-it notes that fit perfectly either with the B6 Slim or the A5 Slim. Like they, the little post-it notes fit perfectly right here or right here. Um, they've had the same colors, the same three colors they've been producing every year since I even knew a Jibun Techo existed. I'm like, every, so every year I look, I'm like, ooh, maybe they have some different post-it. No, they don't. It's the same color. <laughs> So that would be my only criticism. So here's option number one for my pen. I really love these um, pastel colors. I use these primarily in my planner just to mark something specific that happens on a day that I want to refer back to or I want to make note of. These are, what do you call it, opaque. So they will write on black post-it notes if you were curious about that. And they write on white, really pretty too. So there's that. Uh, oh, I bought a white one this year. I thought I bought two. I must have only bought one. Oh, wait, I have these. So this is, uh, I'm going to test this out. This will be my first time testing out the white one on black paper. The next pen is, oh, yeah, I have done forgotten what it's called. It's a zebra. Let's see what it says on it here. The only other, the only English word on here is purple. What is the name of this pen? I've already got one. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm back. This is a Sarasa Select Soft Grip. So here's the pink one. I've been using that this year. Uh, and then here's the purple one. I thought it was kind of pretty. And it, it's got five um, components and they are different to the High Tech C Colettos in that, let me show you. The Coletto has this little portion on it that sticks up out of the pen and tells you what color you're using. What's different about this is all of them, they already come, these top components already come with the pin and they don't show you what color. You have to look down in the barrel here to see, which is a little different, but I like the way the pin looks so much until I got another one to try to decide between. So here are the refills for the Sarasa Select, which they also did not have many pastel colors to choose from on that. So. I think I got 0.4 black, 0.4 blue black, the pink, this looks a little turquoise. This is, here's the blue black, I think, yeah. And then orange. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would use the black, the blue black. Hmm. So let me give you an idea of what these refills look like on our little tester page here. So here's a close-up of the Coletto 0.4. This is the, 
this right here is the metallic that I won't be using again. I wasn't all that impressed with it, but I really, really like the pastels. And then here are the ones from the uh, Sarasa Select. That pink, which is a little too pink for me. There's the ballpoint. That's interesting. I probably should have ordered a ballpoint replacement. Hmm. Darn. Okay. There's the regular point four black. There's the blue black. I wonder how well you'll be able to tell the difference on the screen. I'm kind of enjoying the blue black. Purple. A little too purple for me. I prefer this pastel up here. And then we're back to the blue back again by accident. Hmm. Let's see. What else have we got? Ooh, the only thing is this new ink. Should I put it in a pen and show y'all what color it is? I probably should. Oh, look at this. This is Noodlers and I forgot. Um, Hari. Hari. Matahari? Is it Matahari? Yes. Matahari Cordial is what it's called. Ooh, shut up. Okay, let me, uh, I'm not going to put it in a pen, but I am going to get a Q-tip and put it on one of my ink cards. Hold the phone. <laughs> it just made me think of the movie Galaxy Quest when Sigourney Weaver is <laughs> like, what did she say? Please stand by on the communicator with something was going to watch. I'm going to make a huge mess out of this. Let me get this paper over here in case I can, so I can soak it up in case I make a big fat mess. Oh, ee, oh God, it's so full. Look at this, y'all. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Wait a minute, though. Do y'all happen to notice how much that looks like black swan and Australian roses? Are y'all ink people? Do y'all do ink stuff? Okay, let me close this up before before I make an absolute freaking mess. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. So it's not as similar as I thought, but it's kind of got that feel to it. I do love this ink. This is Noodler's Black Swan in Australian Rose. This looks good. So I've been using cherry blossom all year long. This is a Robert Oster. And I liked it a lot at first, but as the year went on, it started to wear on me. So I was gonna replace it with this. Hmm, what do y'all think? If you had to choose one of these pink inks to use next year, what would you use? I don't know, that Ottoman Rose is kind of calling to me right there. Oh Lord, yeah, these are a little much. Although this Diamond Pink Champagne Shimmering looks so good when you write with it. it. It's not all that impressive on the swatch card, but when you write, ooh. Anyway, you know, I was supposed to post an inks video, a fountain pen inks video, but every time I post a fountain pen video, some man comes along and tells me about how I'm doing it wrong. Even if, <laughs> Last time I posted a fountain pen video, this gentleman found it a few days later and then just let me have it. Like he must have spent a half an hour or 45 minutes composing this YouTube comment and it, he just got madder the longer he went. So I don't know if I'm going to be making any <laughs> fountain pen videos moving forward because I just don't need that kind of crap in my life. But it was kind of funny. Yeah, I think, hmm, can you tell I have a preference for inks? I, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to use that one or not. And I'm missing a sample on here, I think. Yeah, I'm missing a purple sample that I currently have loaded in a mini. Anyway, that's beside the point. So that's our ink purchase for this year. Um, I did not purchase any new fountain pens in 2020. Um, other than that one white one I bought a while back. And so I'm gonna use that one next year. I did end up using this Twisby, what is it? That's a um, Diamond 580 in rose gold and smoke. I use this all year long really enjoyed it and i'm gonna switch to the mini white i think for the upcoming year anyway okay i'm you know babbling yeah so there's my jet pins haul for 2022 all right y'all i hope you enjoyed our 2022 jet pins haul i'd love it if you drop it in the comments about what kind of things you're hauling right now for your 2022 planner lineup 
Subscribe if you haven't already. That way you don't miss the rest of our 2022 planner shenanigans lineup. Me and Ernie hope to see <laughs> Me and Ernie hope to see you back here next Sunday. Bye y'all.